G'day guys, my name is XY and welcome to an update on the Glock 18 model, Glo no Glock 17 model, that I made ages ago, what was it, like October last year, anyways, between now and then I have occasionally been going back to this model and changing it up and everything, um, one point I even made textures for it, actually the, after October, um, I did make entire textures and stuff for it, and I've actually got the previous model for that, with the textures and stuff, is it this one? I can't remember. I changed it a lot. No, that's where I rigged it and animated it, uh, but that is without textures. Um, here we go. So this one has textures and everything, but this is a... It's the same model that I had back when I released the video. So I changed up the new model so that it looks a lot better, because <laughs> I absolutely hate this model. It looks terrible, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like roughly. So those are sort of what the textures look like. They're not entirely great. They're just sort of placeholder. And um, even this is sort of copyright because I used like a cement texture and then just changed the color of it. But uh, this was uh, me using a um, emboss texture with, uh, what was it, Photoshop. And that was the same, those emboss and then weaved. Uh, and then those are just sort of things that I made. I also did sort of normal map it, but not entirely a lot. I'm just going to show you what that looks like rendered. Okay, we're back and it has now rendered. So this is the basic look of it. it I'm rendering it onto a transparent background, so ignore the uh, weird spots at the background. Anyway, so the textures looked fairly well in cycles. However, when I tried rendering in Blender, despite my attempts, it looked terrible. So that is why I decided to completely scrap all the textures and everything. And I was going to make them properly and make a whole new model. This is the new model. It's also now <laughs> the actual scale that it would be in metric. So uh, it was 18.5928 centimeters in width. So it's 18.593. And uh, yeah, so now it's the actual size. So if I was to import this into, say, Unreal Engine or Unity, it would look roughly how it should look in real life. So let's just go over the things that I have changed. I changed the, uh, what's this called? The pistol, uh, the uh, trigger guard. And completely remodeled it, deleted it before. And now it's actually a part of the model. So it's not a separate part, separate object. Um, I modeled it from the model, so I also updated some of the sharps because I figured some of them didn't work well enough. Remodeled this, this piece, so that's completely different, looks more realistic, uh, more so how it is. Also this, that was remodeled. Almost everything here was remodeled, the only thing that really hasn't changed was this bit here. Um, it worked well. It, it looked, you know, nice and everything. Didn't think it really needed to change much. Uh, the end here has definitely been remodeled, as you can see. It doesn't have the whole strip, the uh, railing for attachments or anything anymore. I also have a magazine this time. So if you remember in the video, I didn't actually model a magazine. That was my fault. I sort of just forgot about it. I also modeled some bullets. So there's one in the chamber. And that's another thing that we can talk about. So if I just hide the slider here, I actually modeled the barrel. So I took a picture and, well, I didn't take a picture. I found a picture off of Google, um, one that just resembles what the barrel looks like and then just sort of modeled off of that. I've also cut out a hole for the magazine so you can see straight through there. That's pretty cool. Um, change this up. So if I bring back the slider, uh, I forgot how it previously was, but it, it didn't look like that. It wasn't nearly as nice, so now it works better. Main thing that I wanted to uh, also talk about was this that uh, changed. Uh, previously, it looked just absolutely ugly. Um, did not like it whatsoever. So now I just used a sphere, or at least parts of it, cut it up, um, removed some vertices and everything. So this was the original sphere. Um, like if you rotate it and then sort of fix it up some of it, like this vertice was out of place. Um, you'd notice how it actually kind of does resemble a sphere, so I just used a sphere, um, scaled it out on the y-axis and then just sort of attached it onto the end here 
and I actually had to build these vertices myself, or just more so extrude them. <laughs> so it gave it the uh, Triforce effect, which worked much better for this, and you know, works well, looks nicer. So now these are actually a part of the model as well, like some of the other things. Um, I try to really focus on making everything a part of the model. The only few things that aren't actually a part of the model is this, this, um, this of course, um, if I can just grab it properly, and this down here. The main thing, main change, was down here. So previously you saw that I was having textures with it. Uh, so I used a texture to resemble that bit over there, but now I actually modelled it, and I didn't add too many vertices, I think in total they add about a thousand vertices. So that is a lot compared to the amount of vertices contained in this model, but in total we only have 4,330 vertices, so I completely remodelled the uh, trigger. This was also entirely remodelled for a while, so this bit, although it doesn't look like it was remodelled, it has been. It's it removed the circles between the uh, sites, so now um, I'm just going to rely on textures for that. Added holes here, because I don't know, I saw them in um, one of the, a picture of a slide, and I don't know, I just figured it looked cool. Added a lot more detail, and didn't cost too many vertices. Let's see how many vertices in total would cost. So, 168, so not too bad. I do plan on releasing another update once the textures and stuff are done. Might also do a tutorial if I can. It's just when I try to do a tutorial about this, I go into a lot of depth talking about random pointless crap. <laughs> and it ends up being like an hour long and I still haven't finished the model so I end up scrapping it a lot. But uh, yeah, I do plan. It's just uh, very difficult. It would have to be in lots of parts and especially if you want to get to this amount of detail because so far this has taken me hours upon hours just without actually explaining everything. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see other updates, if you want to see other videos, <laughs> tell me. Uh, a few people comment being like, hey you should do a tutorial. I'm like, yeah I will and then months later happen and I don't. I try. It, it's just, it, it's difficult. <laughs> But yeah, alright guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you guys next time.